one minute mix of madness. Mixing madness! Picture this, you got a sweet gig recording a drummer and you find yourself needing to mic their kid up. But all you have is two condenser mics and one dynamic mic. Don't panic, try using the Glenn Johns miking technique and these three microphones are all that you'll need. Glenn Johns, musician, engineer, producer, known for his work with Led Zeppelin, The Who, The Rolling Stones, The Eagles, Eric Clapton and the Beatles. Specifically on all the Led Zeppelin records is where you can really hear this miking technique in use. Start by placing one of the condenser mics about three to four feet above the snare, directly pointing down at it. All I can tell y'all is that it's about to go down. Play and listen to how the kit sounds. If you want less snare, point the mic slightly away towards the tom. If the cymbals are too aggressive sounding, raise the mic until it makes it sound softer. Next, take your second condenser mic and put it to the right of the floor tom about six inches above it. Point it towards the snare and the hi-hat across the tom. Have the drummer hold one end of the cable in the middle of the snare while you take the other end and stretch it up to the overhead mic above and make sure that the second overhead is lined up where you're pinching the cable. They should now be equal distance from each other. Finally, use your last mic as a kick mic, placing it near the head or inside the kick drum. This rounds out and accentuates the kick in the drum mix. And just like that, using this simple method and three microphones, you can get a sweet sounding drum recording that sounds just like John Bonham. Let the levy break, baby.